firewall rules in the Grandstream network. How do you create them? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. We're going to be creating five firewall rules. So without further delay, let's get started. So here we are logged in to my GWN 7003 router, or if you're based in the US, you probably call it router. But in this video, I'll refer to it as we pronounce it here in the UK, which is router. Just to avoid any confusion, that is. So what we need to do to create the five firewall rules is from the left hand side menu, select firewall, and this will bring some drop down options. Then from the firewall menu, what we need to do is select traffic rules. So click on traffic rules and this will load up your firewall rules on screen. And as you can see, we already have some firewall rules there. These have been automatically created by the actual GWN7003 myself. So you may have these same firewall rules or you may have slightly different ones as well. But anyway, what we'll do is create these five firewall rules. Now, for the first firewall rule, what we're going to do is block our IoT VLAN from accessing the management interface ports on our network devices. So, for example, it will stop IoT devices accessing our management page for this GWN7003 also my Grandstream switch and also the management interface of my access point as well. So to create the first firewall rule, what we need to do is click on add. Then for the name box at the top, we will call this block IOT to management. Then for the status, you should leave that as blue. So it's blue by default. The IP family is any and for the protocol type, we'll set this to TCP, actually UDP stroke TCP. So select UDP stroke TCP. For the source group, we will select the name of our VLAN, which is the IoT VLAN. Now, if you haven't already created VLANs, then you might want to go ahead and look at my previous video, which I released before this one, in which I explain how to set up VLANs on a Grandstream network. So you might want to set up your VLANs first before obviously creating these firewall rules. So for the source group, as I said, you select IoT VLAN. Then in the destination IP address, we're going to be entering the IP address of our router on this VLAN which has been allocated to 192.168.4.1. Then in the destination port box, you need to enter 22,80,443. And this will block our IoT devices from accessing ports 22, 80 and 443 on our router. Under the action, you need to select drop and when you've done that, click on save to save the firewall rule. Now for the second firewall rule, what we're going to do is allow our IoT devices to access the internet. So what we're going to do is allow them to access our router, but because we've got this drop rule that we created prior to that, it just means that it can access our router, but not ports 2280 and 443. So what we'll do is click on add and for the name at the top, we'll call it allow IOT to router and under status, leave that as blue. IP family should be any protocol type should be all. So set this to all source group again is our VLAN name. So it's IOT VLAN. Destination IP address again is the IP address of our router, which is 192.168.4.1. Then under the action, it should be set to accept and then click on save. So for the third firewall rule, you need to click add again. 
and in this one what we're going to do is block access to one of the RFC 1918 IP address groups so in this case we'll block the 10 IP address range then 172 and then 192 so for the name of this one we'll call it block IOT to 10.x network status should be blue IP family should be any protocol type again should be all source group should be IOT VLAN and then the destination IP should be 10.0.0.0 forward slash 8 so that it blocks all IP addresses in that 10 IP address range then for the action select drop and click save then for the fourth firewall rule we'll click add in the name we'll say block IOT to 172.x network status again is blue IP family any protocol type should be all and the source group is a IOT VLAN and the destination IP address should be 172.16.0.0 forward slash 12 under action select drop and gain click save then for the fifth and final firewall rule click add under the name call this block iot to 192.x network status again is blue ip family should be any protocol type should be any source group is our iot vlan destination ip address should be 192.168.0.0 forward slash 16 under action again select drop and click save now as you can see we've got five new firewall rules created under the anti-lockout rule don't whatever you do delete the anti-lockout rule it's there by default and created by Grandstream for a reason so leave it there otherwise you will get permanently locked out of your management interface from probably every device on your network so don't ever delete that rule so moving down here are the five firewall rules that we created block IT to management allow IOT to router block IOT to 10.x network block IOT to 172.x network and then block IOT to 192.x network so that's all the firewall rules you need to have a comprehensive lockdown of your network so that your VLANs cannot access other devices on other VLANs in your network and also they cannot access the management interfaces of your router. So if we enter um, the IP address of our router at the top in this web page 192.168.4.1 you will see that it shouldn't load the management interface of our router in fact it will come up with an error message in a moment however whilst waiting for that to try to load we'll open up another tab and type in google.com.co.uk and as you can see we still have access to the internet so we can still get access to the internet from our IOT VLAN which is what we want for streaming media and so on but as you can see we've gone back to the IP address of our management interface for our router and as you can see it's saying that the site cannot be reached so that confirms that it's blocking access to the management interface from our IOT VLAN which is what we want so that completes setting up of basic firewall rules in the Grandstream network management interface. So I hope you found this video useful. 
keep a lookout for more videos coming soon. Not necessarily Grand Stream, but other videos are in the pipeline as well. So do keep a watch and look out for those. Thanks for watching. Take care. Uh, bye for now.